and everyone was willing to trade for Athenian olive oil. As goods flowed in and out of the Athenian harbor, the Athenians found their wealth and prosperity on the rise. But the most astonishing consequence of Athens' sudden expansion was to be found in the darkest streets of the city. Athens' first great artistic legacy, the vase. But I think what, what's fascinating about the pottery is that in its own time, it wasn't a big deal artistically. What was inside the pots was almost invariably worth more than the pot itself. Here in the area known as the Keramikos, ancient Athens red light district, could also be found the potter's workshops. These common artisans were amongst the lowest of the low in Athenian society. If you were a potter in Athenian society, I won't say you were the scum of the earth, but you certainly um, had no special respect. It was hard, incessant work, unenvied by the citizen population. Pottery had been a staple across the ancient world for hundreds of years, used in the kitchen at home and for transporting oils and food. But it had always been simple in design, using geometric patterns and basic figures, designs based on Egyptian and Assyrian art. But Athenian potters, as they decorated their work, began to develop a whole new style of painting, a freshness and a naturalism never before seen, a style still astonishing today. It's now become almost commonplace for a Greek vase on the modern antiquities market to fetch millions of dollars or pounds. And if the makers of those vases had any idea of what we were shelling out for them, their graves would spin with either resentment or just absolute hilarity. These Athenian potters seem to have been motivated not by the idea of producing great art for eternity, but of outdoing each other. On one particularly fine vase, we find the proud comment, Euthymides, son of Polyas, drew this. And then underneath, and I'll bet Euphronius couldn't have managed it. For the first time in their history, the ordinary Athenians had tasted freedom. And they had shown their capacity for extraordinary achievement.